This is Kingfisher. She's a lovely 60-foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 1991 by Coldcraft. In June last year, she underwent some major work, including a full repaint. She was blacked, 18 new anodes, 18 new anodes, I'll just repeat that. She was serviced, not been used a lot since at all. She had a whole survey, the last one was in 2007. And the paintwork's fabulous, actually. That was done by Blizzworth Tunnel Narrowboats. It's a nice light boat. There are nine of these bus-style hopper-opening windows on board. There are six portholes as well, four of those open there towards the back of the boat. You can see how nice the paintwork is. Freshly done. There's a cracked cover over the well deck. That's in reasonable condition. And gas bottles, two 13 kilos with a changeover valve are in that forward locker there. Bumble's come to help today. It's a good sized well deck, four feet eight inches long. The water tank's under there, stainless steel. Storage lockers on either side, nice glazed cratch board. Here comes Bumble. Stable doors, they're really useful. Keep the dog in. They're glazed. And then we go. She's fitted out an oak face ply with oak trim. Completely open plan saloon in here. It's 11 feet 11 inches long. It's a good space. You could easily get a sofa bed in here. You might even get a couple of armchairs and a sofa bed. I don't know. I've not measured it out. A couple of cupboards here. Feels nice and cosy with the carpet in here. The storage under that step. There's the view into the well deck. Them also solid fuel stoves there. Walk down here. Now in here, I forgot to do it first time around, so I'm slotting in another video. There's a huge cupboard under here. Good place to put a washing machine, but it's already got one, so it's just storage. And there's the view down the saloon. Nice tall boat, six foot four in the centre. All the lights, LED. And into the galley. The galley itself is 10 feet long. Laminate worktops. There's a side hatch there. This galley's completely new. Cupboards on this side. There's the washing machine. That's a Indesit 6 kilos. Cupboards over that. There's a fridge there, that's a 230 volt fridge master. You'll notice it doesn't have an ice box, that's because there's a separate freezer on board. Stainless steel sink is a pulley out cupboard thing. But we've just got to check that. And good sized cupboards under here. So there's loads of cupboard space in this kitchen. Another one here. And the cooker itself, of course, is brand new. It's a Thetford Caprice, four burner gas hob, oven and grill. The floor, by the way, in here is walnut laminate. It looks fabulous. Really clean and shiny. It's through the rest of the boat, actually. Carpet in the saloon and there's laminate through the rest of it. There's the view down forward to the galley. Here's a side hatch. There's a roof hatch on that. Some steps going to help you get out, actually. Lovely dinette area in here. I love this. Sort of separate dining room, really. Here's the freezer I mentioned. Really neatly tucked away. The storage under the rest of the dinettes, of course. And this turns into a double bed as well, spare double. So you could sleep six on this boat. The dinette itself is uh, six feet two inches long, I think I measured it out. There's a lovely stained glass kingfisher that goes into the bathroom. The bathroom itself is five foot five inches long, vinyl lined shower cubicle, a couple of rails there for towels and things, ceramic basin over a cupboard, and the loo itself is a Thetford cassette. There's the cupboard. I also forgot to do the, the other cupboard in here, so I'm going to slot this in. It's between the shower and the door, quite a useful linen cupboard. There we go, down into the bedroom. This room's 9 feet 10 inches long, there's a little shelf there for cups of tea or Vodka and coke in bed. The bed itself, six foot four inches long, four feet wide. Cupboards over the bed with reading lights under. Portholes in here. The ones in here open. <laughs> Get off the bed, you cheeky sod. 
The portholes open in here, which are the two in the stern cabinet that don't, and a lovely little dressing area here. A little stool there, there's a mirror, a little desk, dressing table, whatever you want to call it, and a huge wardrobe with shelves in at the foot of the bed. So there we go into the stern cabin. The engine's under here, we'll have a look at that in a minute. It's the inverter on the wall, it's a two and a half kilowatt Sterling, there's a Sterling Pro charger, battery charger, landline hookups in here. There are the controls, a couple of TAF seats on the back, and there's a view from the helmsman's position. The engine's in here, it's a Thornycroft 110, 45 horsepower. There's the diesel fired central heating boiler, that's a Mikuni. Batteries are on the left of the screen. It's 310 amp hour domestics and one starter. Let's have another walk back through. The water tank's stainless steel, I think I mentioned that, we're not sure of the capacity. There's three radiators through the boat heated by the Makuni diesel boiler. There is an immersion heater on board as well, so hot water supplied by the engine, the Makuni or an immersion heater. All the lighting is LED. There are 10 230 volt sockets on board and one 12 volt socket. So she's just a lovely boat really. Nice floor, nice and light, good headroom. And there we go. That is Kingfisher. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.